We should make sure we are on the right track with our toolpaths. We need to verify that the toolpaths we have completed are correct. We can use the simulate function to see what our toolpaths will look like when we cut away the raw stock. The simulate icon is located in the actions group toolbar. You can simulate a single toolpath or any combination of toolpaths. The usual selection methods work by using shift for a consecutive group of toolpaths or the control command key for individual toolpath selection. But we want to see how all the toolpaths are working together. To simulate all the toolpaths, select the setup from the browser, then pick the simulation icon. Or you can also initiate simulation by right-clicking on the setup and selecting simulate from the list. The lower part of the screen will display the player controls. Think of the toolpath simulation as a video of the machining process. You have a play button in the middle of these controls. Either side of the play button is a single step button, forward or backwards. Outside of those buttons, you have play to the next operation, forward or backward. Outside of those is fast forward to the beginning or the end. Underneath the player controls, you have the speed control. Moving the dot to the center is no motion. The further you slide to the right, the faster it plays forward. The further you slide to the left, the faster it plays backwards. The options on the display tab are divided into three sections. The top section controls functions having to do with displaying the tool. The middle section has to do with controlling the toolpath display. The bottom section has to do with how the stock is displayed. Any one of these can be turned off completely. Be sure to check the tooltips for more detail on each function. For now, we will make sure each selection is enabled. For the toolpath selection, set the mode to tail. Press the play button to start the simulation. While it is doing the simulation, you can use the slider control to speed up or slow down the toolpath verification. Or you can press the fast forward button to finish the simulation quicker. Here's another way to view the simulation. Hold down your left mouse button on the graphics area and drag it back and forth. This is a handy way for reviewing a small area of the simulation. This way of playing the simulation actually lets you see material being added to the stock block when you slide it backwards. If you mouse over the colorization parameter, you can see there are several ways to display the stock for simulation. The default is by operation. This will make the cuts from each operation a different color. Let's pick material from the pull-down. Now the part is a single color determined by the material selection. From the colorization parameter pull-down, select Comparison. If we look at the tooltip again, we can see that the comparison uses color to determine if there is leftover stock on the part. Blue means there is extra stock left around the model. Green means we have cut the stock to be equal to the model within the tolerance shown below. Red means we have machined too deep into the model. If you remember when we did our tool paths, we left stock radially on the walls and no stock axially on the floor. And that's exactly what we see here. All the Z faces are finished and the XY side faces have material left for a future finished cut. No red means we have not undercut the model. The simulation looks good, and now we can proceed to the next toolpath. Additional information about the simulation process is available on the Info tab. You can see the current position during the simulation, which operation is being executed, and see the current volume of stock. The Statistics tab contains information about the machining process, cycle time, total distance traversed, number of operations being simulated, and the number of tool changes. 
press close to exit the simulation. In this lesson, we learned about the simulation of toolpaths, how to select a setup or an individual operation for verification, how the player controls work, how to change the display of the material, how to do a comparison against the model, and some of the information feedback available about the process.